In early 2019, Marcus Ball's private criminal prosecution case against ex-Mayor of London Boris Johnson was approved by Westminster Magistrates Court for a criminal trial. But it was then suddenly shut down by Judges Supperstone and Rafferty at the High Court before it could get in front of a jury. Judges are legally required to disclose connections they have with people in court that may lead to an appearance of bias or a lack of impartiality. Neither judge disclosed any issues at any point. Marcus was made suspicious by their conduct on his case, so he spent three months investigating them. This is some of what he's discovered so far. Get ready. Discovery 1. Judge Supperstone, who shut down the case against ex-Mayor of London Boris Johnson, used to be one of ex-Mayor of London Boris Johnson's lawyers, but never told anyone. Neither did Boris Johnson. Marcus found proof of a payment of £35,500 from Mayor Boris Johnson's GLA accounts to Mr Supperstone QC in 2008 that Judge Supperstone has not disclosed at any point. The full extent of their relationship is not yet known. Discovery 2 Judge Supperstone has been a member of the secretive, exclusive, men's-only private members club, The Garrick, since 1987. According to a list confidentially shown to Marcus, Boris Johnson's father, Stanley Johnson, has been a member of this same club since 2007. Jacob Rees-Mogg has been a member since 2004 and Michael Gove since 2002. What this means is that if Judge Supperstone had ruled against Johnson in this serious criminal case, he would have been ruling against activities that several fellow members of his social club had also carried out, potentially making his time there very uncomfortable. The husband of Judge Rafferty, Brian Barker, is also a member of this very same club. Again, no mention of this was made to the court. Concealing this information is not a good look for our judiciary and screams of the old boys network so despised by the public. Discovery 3 Within their written court ruling against the case, both judges ruled that Marcus's team had showed them no legal authorities which equated the offence Boris Johnson is accused of with bringing his office into disrepute. But their ruling then went on to reference two legal authorities that Marcus's team had shown them, which do equate the offence with disrepute. In short, Marcus believes that both judges were being dishonest within their own legal ruling on a case which existed to challenge dishonest behaviour. In summary, one judge used to be one of the accused's lawyers and didn't tell anyone, and is a member of the same exclusive social club that the accused's father and key professional allies are also a part of. And both judges stated something in their ruling which, Marcus alleges, they knew wasn't true. The law concerning actual bias and apparent bias are vital to the systems of justice and public trust in the judicial system. Marcus has made a complaint to the Judicial Conduct Investigations Office, which you can read in full at borisjohnsonprosecution.com.